Hello, welcome to Lord's Vintage World. In this video, I'm going to be recommending you how many, one, two, three, four, five books on the history of cosmetics and makeup. Um, I'm gonna start off with the kind of basics and move into more complex, almost bordering on academic, I guess. Um, really nitty gritty getting into the details of the history. Um, because I think when we look at vintage, it's really easy to get swept up in the fashion and actually the history of makeup and cosmetics is absolutely fascinating. I think if you're a beginner and you don't know much about the history of cosmetics, then this is a fantastic book to start with. This is Beauty and Cosmetics 1550 to 1950 by Sarah Jane Downing. And it's one of the books of the Shire Libraries. Shire Libraries did lots of books on so many different topics. Um, this one obviously just happens to be on the history of cosmetics and it is absolutely fascinating. Big old picture of Elizabeth I there, one of my favorite portraits, the rainbow portrait. Oh, she's there again, look, there she is. Um, talking about the history of cosmetics and throughout the ages, so what was important to the people that were living at that time, was it important to be pale, was it important to be tanned, um, were eye makeup a big thing, etc, etc. Um, these books are always quite heavily uh, illustrated with some wonderful, wonderful pictures, but has lots of really valuable and important information. I think if you're a beginner, this is a fantastic one to start with. Highly recommend it. And obviously, it doesn't take up much room on your shelf. <laughs> the next book that I want to recommend you is this one. This is Face Paint, The Story of Makeup by Lisa Eldridge. Now, I actually bought this book before I realised that Lisa Eldridge was on YouTube. Lisa Eldridge is a makeup artist, but she does collect historical um, makeup, and she has done uh, TV series on history of makeup as well, which is fascinating. And this is a book that is split into two parts. Um, the first part is entitled The Ancient Palette, and section two is The Business of Beauty. Regardless of which section you go to, it is stunning, this book. I mean, Look at this, this is Madame de Pompadour and just the most beautiful coffee table book that there is and there's so much wonderful photography. Um, this book talks about so many different aspects of makeup from the ancient world all the way up to how we use it in the present day, how it's represented in the media um, and different specific people as well. I would say this book is the next one to go to simply because it's a fantastic coffee table book. It's a book that I read once cover to cover, but ever since then I've just picked up and flicked through it and it's just a wonderful, beautiful, stunning book. Then the final three that I have are a bit more on the academic-y sort of side. I'll start with this one. This is Classic Beauty, The History of Makeup by Gabriela Hernandez. Um, and this is a wonderful book that looks at the history of makeup from the dawn of time and it has timelines this i flip in love so we go back to uh, 33000 bc where minimal pregnancies such as okra are mixed with fat and used as sunblock or protection from extreme weather and then we go all the way through to the 2000s and it's such a wonderful book because We'll talk about things like lips and nails, and there's always pictures to accompany them for each decade. So each decade we get a timeline and a bit of history, and then we'll get discussion on foundation and powders and nails and lips, and each bit is taken in different sections, and I love that. I think that's so good. And yeah, it's it's very much more coffee table-y again, but with the timeline it has a real, real important historical place and I really really love it. And then finally the last two I have Compacts and Cosmetics Beauty from Victorian Times to the Present Day by Madeline Marsh. This is much more of an academic-y type book. Well it's not academic but you know what I mean more of a factual book. There is still images throughout but there's less of them um, because there's so much information here. So much information um, and it's wonderful and it it discusses the history of the piece and then there'll be um a picture to accompany them so we'll talk about compacts and then there'll be a you know 
discussion, discussion of the importance of compacts and then some examples of compacts. And I really, really like that. Um, I think this does the kind of, it's not a coffee table book, but I think it does like that type of thing with beautiful imagery with lots of valuable, important information. And I think it, it does it really, really well. And then last but not least, one that is definitely more on the factual side is this one. This is Painted Faces, A Colourful History of Cosmetics by Susan Stewart. I love this book because this book is just information, information, information. There are pictures like you would a kind of your usual non-fiction book, but for the most majority it is valuable, valuable very interesting information and I learned so much from this book and yeah I just think it's wonderful so if you're looking for the book that has the most history this one but if you're looking for um, a more beautiful one maybe just a coffee table book then perhaps some of the big ones if you're looking for a basic one hopefully I've got one in there for you so hopefully there's a book out there to please everyone on the history of cosmetics. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I shall see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.